Hey, hey guys, it's MacApple1 Zoo 256, and today I'm going to be talking a little fast because I want to get through a lot of things in this video. This is my second take because um, my uh, my hard drive just like ran out of space, so I only had like 300 megabytes left. Um, I'll put the information in the description. But anyways, uh. Uh, I'm, today I'm going to be talking about the iPad. Today was the release, and I went to my local Best Buy to check it out. And it's, it's, I've never, <sighs> I'm, I'm out of words. Seriously, this is, that's how good this thing is. Uh, people say it's the best web experience that they've ever had. It's not the best web experience that I've ever had. It's the second best. The only thing that is better is uh, Safari 4 on an actual Mac computer. And what makes it better is that it has Flash. Um, but that's about it. And uh, you get to see the full website um, instead of having like iPhone stuff. Uh, and again, they have a completely new interface for it. Um, you can have multiple tabs. Uh, it's very speedy, and they have even had a big enough screen so they can put a little drop-down menu uh, when you click on the bookmarks bar instead of, you know, like, taking up the full screen, like, uh, kind of like when you go on the YouTube video and um, on the iPhone. Uh, the mail, it is the best web it email experience I've ever had even though I never really checked it out because it wasn't even set up and I didn't really want to but uh it was at the store so you know um yeah <laughs> so I guess it will be the best and uh the keyboard is really big uh when you put it in landscape it's basically the size of the laptop's keyboard it has all the features on uh that it the iPhone has on the keyboard, except for there's not as many international keyboards, but I can work around that. Um, attachments are aligned in the message, um, and yeah, and the brand new interface is just awesome. Um, photos, it, yeah, this is the best photos application that I've ever seen, ever. I mean, I have iPhoto 06 on my Mac, so... And, the, and as you know, like, uh, it's been improved over the years. Sorry, guys, I have to look at my hard drive space. Make sure I don't make this video too long or else my hard drive space will go boop. And uh, so, uh, yeah, you can, in, yeah, with albums and uh, events, faces and places, you can actually, even with photos, you can pinch in to see all the photos, unless you're actually in the photos, then it'll just show the photo. But, um, anywhere else it'll just, like, show you all the photos that have to do with that. So, uh, and then you can, of course, pinch out and, uh, see a photo. There's even this little bar at the bottom where you can, like, scroll through your pictures. They have some great built-in slideshows, including one that's called Origami that you've never seen. Um, uh, Unless you've seen the um, the keynote presentation, also, and um, while syncing, you can actually sync uh, your cam, your pictures right from your uh, right directly to your iPad instead of having to plug it into your computer, sync it to your computer, and then sync your iPad up to your computer. No, you can uh, actually uh, you can optionally buy this kit. And uh, you can connect, connect your camera right to your iPad, or you can get a, the second version, which uh, reads your SD card, and it'll sync like that. So either way, it does the same thing, just two different ways. Videos, um, and again, the interface is great. Um, yeah, if you've ever watched video on the iPhone, then you know how to work this. Um, some of the, the one button has been changed in this. Well, it didn't like change its function, but it changed the look. Uh, that's it. And the scrubber looks a little different. And the on like the interface of the on screen controls is a teeny different, a teeny bit different. But other than that, it's the same uh, as the iPhone. So 
and um, it's just great. It's more organized, and so you can only, so you just see uh, one category at a time. It's just so uh, it's just fun, and uh, I'm gonna make a part two to this video after I get to iTunes, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, if you know how to work it on the iPhone, then. It's a little different on the iPad because they made some changes. When you, you can even like view the whole app and landscape, and while you, you can even watch a video, not even full screen. Like if you if you have an iPhone, then you know how like it takes up the full screen. No, sorry, you can watch video on a web page, which is really cool. But um, with the YouTube app, you can do the same thing. Of course, you have the option to view full screen. And uh, it has all the functions as last time with the iPhone. Um, and if you rotate a landscape, then you have, like, side-by-side. -side. Um, you get the point. Side-by-side uh, -side info, featured, blah, 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 comments, you know. And then iPod, it's great. Um, it's the best... If you know how to use it on the iPhone, then you know how to use it on here. Um, and then iTunes, uh, it looks like iTunes 9 is the true meaning of the differences. It's combining the look of the iTunes 9 on your computer and um, on the iPhone, so that's really cool. Okay, I don't want this video to go too long, or else it'll take up too much hard drive space and YouTube won't accept it. So I'm going to have a part two in the, for this video. And uh, one more thing, the App Store, uh, they're making apps directly for the iPad, so that's cool. Alright, so view part two of this video and see you then. Subscribe. Bye.